Hello everyone, welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. My name is Gilbert, also known as Red Dragon. I'm getting ready to start doing some painting on these little figures and uh, the cockpit and um, the seats and stuff on this uh, gunship, this, this Cobra gunship. So, you stick around, take this journey with me, brothers. Be right back. Hi, brothers. I'm just uh, using some... Um, what is this? IDF green. And uh, putting it in on some light coats. I was going to try to get it all, you know, really nice and all that. But you know what? I just want to get them painted as best as I can. So I'm not trying to win a contest. I'm trying to make it look nice. But at this point, that scale is so small I'll try to get some real nice and you know details in there but we'll see so here's what I'm doing as you can see just painting this guy up a little bit this is the pilot and then I have the gunner that I'm going to do so I'm gonna put a I'm using um Vallejo model air because I my in this color I didn't have anything else like in the in this range you know the model color range and I think this will work it brushes on real nice it's just really thin it's made for an airbrush and it's not made for uh, brushing it works but I'll show you guys in a second here So, I'll end up highlighting this a little bit. So let me let this cat sit here for a little bit. And I'll be right back. Let me get another one. Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of little nice small tiny detail in here and I'm going to try to get that to come out so I'm using my little wet palette here to keep this wet while I get in there and do this here you know there's a, I just noticed something there's a damn EPM a pin mark right on his elbow unbelievable you know you can't get it out you know you can't fill it because then you'll lose all the detail on the sleeve you know Jesus oh well you probably won't you won't see it anyway it's just the principle of the thing I guess So I think I'm going to go with a green, guys. I was going to go with a desert, and I still might, but looking at pictures of the first Gulf War, there were a few, quite a few green ones there. Now, I'm going to have to ask people that were actually there. I think Freddie was there, you know, to give me a few pointers on the colors before I get ready to shoot this thing. So, this is uh, going to be painted in the Army's colors because it doesn't have uh, marine markings. So, I think that's what I'll go with. That's why I'm painting them green and not uh, those crazy camo schemes that first came out in the first Gulf War. So that's what we're doing now. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's the cockpit. I'm on focus. There's my my gunner, my pilot. 
and I got that all ready to be assembled. All the decals are in there, all the paintings done. So, all right, let me flip this back around, and we'll get ready to stick things, guy, those guys in there. All right, all right, gentlemen, I got the cockpit in. It's not glued in, as you can tell. I'm just dry fitting everything at the moment. Um, I still got to do some painting because this here still needs to be painted here and here before I close it all up. So I got that. I got the the canopy. I glued this this up the other day, so I need to get ready to. All I'm doing is I'm dry fitting everything. So check that out. Ain't that bad? That's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'll get that all together. What do you guys think? She's getting there. Um, again, all I'm doing is dry fitting it. Before I paint anything, I, I, inside here, these right here still need to be painted. Inside here. I'll have to do that by hand, I think. And then I'm going to shoot the rest of this. But um, that canopy fits on there really nice. There's a, a few little gaps here and there, but, you know, for the most part, she fits in there real nice. It's a pretty decent little kit. I kind of like it. I'm going to have to add some more canopy glue right there. I can see it, yeah, maybe a little bit more there, I gotta be real careful with it, so, what do you guys think, huh, right, I'm gonna put it down for now, let me look, I'm gonna put it down for now, because it's getting late, and I had my grandson here, you know, so I gotta get my brushes cleaned off, Get these cleaned off and um, get all this mess cleaned up a little bit here. So, I guess we're not going to have it done by the weekend. Oh well. I still got tomorrow though. So, it's almost done. It just needs the rotor, the the weapons pylons, the skids, and the, the Gatling gun. The 20 millimeter cannon in front, or 30 millimeter, I think it is. Yeah, 30 millimeter. So, that's it for tonight, guys. This is Red Dragon saying, Peace, brothers. Stay safe. Take care of your families. And see you until the next update. Ciao.